Lasers have been around for over 50 years. Many people think of lasers as weapons to stop James Bond, but lasers are used in many other aspects of life and they could potentially be used to treat cancer by producing protons and ions to cause DNA damage to cancer cells. This is called proton therapy. It has been used clinically for decades. Traditionally, the protons and ions are produced via accelerators. Since the radiation dose can be precisely localized, there is a reduced risk of causing DNA damage to surrounding healthy organs compared to conventional radiotherapy using x-rays. Proton therapy is especially useful for treating tumors near the optic nerve in the central nervous system and for tumors in children with developing tissues. Despite the benefits, there are less than 50 facilities worldwide which offer this type of treatment due to high setup and maintenance costs. By producing protons and ions from lasers instead of accelerators, the setup and maintenance cost could be reduced. To produce protons and ions from lasers, a short pulse of light travels through a setup of mirrors and lenses and hits a solid target, which is thinner than a human hair. This happens inside a vacuum and the light pulse lasts a trillionth of a second. When a laser pulse hits the solid target, the target breaks up into tiny fragments. The fragments then travel through magnetic and electric fields to separate them so they are split in terms of their size, charge and energy. In order to make this a viable cancer treatment method, billions of high energy protons and ions need to be produced. My research contributes to characterizing the number and energy of protons and ions produced by laser shots to contribute to further understanding of the fundamental mechanisms taking place in proton and ion acceleration. As part of a team from Queen's University Belfast, I help conduct research experiments in high power laser facilities all around the world. We test different laser parameters and different thicknesses, shapes and compositions of targets to investigate how to optimize the process. Other institutions are conducting similar research and it all contributes to a pool of knowledge to progress the technology and get closer to a solution. The thing I love about my research is that we are making science. The light pulse produced from the laser has more power than the entire British national grid and causes the already ultra-thin target to obliterate into billions of tiny fragments. With current technology, we can measure precisely how many fragments are produced, their size and their energy. What I do is a small part of a very complex puzzle, which is continually changing over time. I love what I do and the potential it has for the impact on future generations as a possible cost-effective treatment method for cancer.